Hello, my name is Beth Nielsen Chapman, and I'm very proud to be a part of this fantastic celebration for the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. I want to start off this party with a dear friend of mine who also happens to be the chief of the United Nations Academic Impact, and he's, uh, he's quite the scholar, uh, Mr. Ramu Damodaran. Greetings from the United Nations Academic Impact. Who would have thought 39 years ago when a group of scholars met in San Jose, Costa Rica, and suggested the idea of an International Day of Peace, that that day would be adopted by the United Nations General Assembly and observed each year on the 21st of September. For us, it's a proud moment to realize that all that we are doing today owes itself to the International Association of University Presidents women and men like them, and as important, those who carried the torch forward with their hands and their voice. Singers and composers like Beth Nielsen Chapman and this formidable array of talent that she has summoned to be with us today. To each one of you, our gratitude for your song and your spoken word. Many years ago, when I first heard a song by Beth, that particular song was This Life That's Lent to You. And as I listened to it again in 2020, consumed as we are by the pandemic, by thoughts of hopelessness, sometimes despair, its lyrics bring to mind the inevitability of a happier future, of us coming out of this together. So come outside. The sun is shining. The sky is endless blue. The leaves will sigh. The winds reminding that this life is lent to you. Yes, this is a life that is lent to each one of us. But under the brilliant blue of the sky and the flag of the United Nations, we will have the resolve, the hope, and the music to pull through this together. Thank you and enjoy the music. Come outside, the sun is shining. The sky is endless blue. The leaves will sigh, the winds reminding that this life was lent to you. I don't mind about the bad days Silver line, those clouds roll through May you find what makes you happy in this life that's lent to you. In everyone's heart, there'll be sadness for some of the choices that we make. But the real flows behind us and softens the edge of our mistakes so come outside and walk this garden drink the light like roses do 
gentle heart Don't ever harden in this life That's lent to you in this life That's lent to you Thank you, Ramu, for those lovely words. And um, I have just been so excited about putting together some of my dear friends who also happen to be legendary and um, incredibly uh, deep human beings, as, uh, as I've come to find out, getting to know each one of them. So I'm going to have a little powwow here, and we're going to have a little conversation. I want to introduce uh, these three amazing folks one at a time. And um, I'm not going to read you their whole bio. You can just Google them and find out all the details. So uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, introduce one of my dear friends and a fantastic songwriter, five-time Grammy-winning artist and humanitarian, I would say, someone who I look up to so much. And um, I'm super excited to have in this conversation. So y'all, uh, let me bring in the fabulous Kebmo. Hey Hello, there, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> it's good to see you this morning. Nice to be seen. Or this seen. evening, depending on whether or not you're on the other side of the world, which you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you here. All right, I'm going to keep uh, bringing everybody in, then we're going to talk. Okay. Next on my, uh, on my party list here, I've got uh, an amazing young woman who I met at the Christopher Songwriting Retreat in a beautiful place in Somerset, England, where I go every year when I can. Um, she's super talented. She's an international um, light being, I think, um, which you'll see when you hear her share her stuff. Uh, and she's an amazing songwriter and artist. I think she's going to be a massive star. Her name is Victoria Canal, and she is coming to us from Amsterdam. Is that right? Hello there. <laughs> hey, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, it's so great to have you here. All right. Last but not least, uh, this one here is... Um, one of the people that I've been super excited to meet in my life. I did an album in 2012 with Rocky Alvey and Annie Roboff, and it was called The Mighty Sky, and it was a children's album on astronomy. And as a result, I got to meet some amazing folks from NASA, and one of my favorite people of all time that I've ever gotten to know is astronaut, former NFL football player, educator, humanitarian, and all around hilariously fun guy uh leland melvin so leland come on in here all right i've done all my hey, technical Beth. things now i can relax <laughs> great to be here with all of you yeah so um we're going to do a, a little conversation and then uh keb Mo and uh, victoria have uh, put a song into the mix so we're going to have a, a little bit of uh, music following that but but before we do that i was thinking about the un and and the way it starts with UN, and so does Universal, and so does uh, United, and so many words that have to do with um, a common thread or a common denominator. And I started thinking about creativity and, and how much creativity seems to seek the universal. I, know, I just know that when I write a song that's really personal, it ends up being the most universal, and I don't know why that is. Maybe one of you can explain that to me. Who wants to try? <laughs> Victoria? I, yeah, I can take a shot. Um, I don't know. I think, I think that um, the more that I come to see different cultures in different places, the more I find that we're all experiencing very similar emotions and journeys. And so um, really it is like uh, it, it's both at the same time. It's universal and super personal um, because it's one and the same, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then the word universe, too, which, of course, brings me into, into the, the whole world of beyond our planet and stuff. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. Keb, when you're writing, do you have a sense of what the song is going to be? Or when you're doing that creative move towards something, does, is it like a pull? Cause to me, it's like a kind of an undertow. And, and, I, and I end up in the universal, usually, if, I'm, if I've had my Wheaties and I got my sleep. <laughs> 
I I just write what I know about, mm -hmm. and uh, usually whatever I know about and what I'm experiencing, that's that's what connects me to the universe. That's yeah. what connects me to everyone because we're all having the same life experience in um, different intricate ways, yet they're all the same. So the sameness is there, and I just embrace the sameness and trust it. You just trust. I, I've written songs with you, and you're you're like me. You're just you don't you're just doing something on a very subliminal level. That's so. I guess the feeling I have about the universe and and the and the coordination of stuff that just kind of unfolds, including flowers, petals unfolding, and planets moving farther away from each other, and songs getting written through this sort of subliminal thing. And I think about all the people in the UN, you know, that are all over the world that are that are working towards this common goal, this universal goal. And and I just find it fascinating. Um, so I want to hear from you, uh, Leland, because I know when I met you, you told me something that really changed my life and made me <laughs> so happy. I want you to tell that story. So in 2008, I was on the International Space Station, the thing behind me with those solar panels hanging down. And on my rotary dial iPod, I was listening to Beth Nielsen Chapman's <laughs> Ave Maria. I'm While I was looking back at the planet, we were traveling at 17,500 miles per hour, going around the planet every 90 minutes, seeing a sunrise and a sunset every 45, breaking bread with people we used to fight against, Russians and Germans. And we had the first female commander, African-American, Asian-American, all these people from around the world working together. And that moment when I think of creativity, I think of what you were singing and, you know, everyone working as a united team in harmony, breaking bread together, you know, working for a common good and a common goal and looking down at the planet and seeing all of these people all living on this blue marble and thinking that if we do anything <laughs> in space that's wrong, we all die. So if we can channel that down here, if we don't work together on the planet, we're going to have some some dire consequences. So that's why it's so important that on the 75th anniversary that we're all united and we stay united and through creativity, through eating, through all these things. It's just thanks for bringing us together, Beth. It's just oh, amazing. Man. Well, if we weren't all um, kind of in lockdown, at different levels of lockdown, we'd be doing this in person and somewhere with uh, with a great uh, UN audience, hopefully. And um, you know, and that's the thing. It's just this strange time we're in. You know, how is how has that affected all of you? And how has that shifted your, your work as a person in the world with creativity up there front and center? Has it, has it shifted a lot within you? I have shifted, definitely shifted. I've, <laughs> I'm playing more on the piano. I'm walking my dogs more. I'm, I'm thinking more introspectively about what I can bring to the universe to help bring people together. And so it's, it's, it's made me get more, more thoughtful instead of just running everywhere and getting on an airplane. I'm at home doing a Zoom, but I have more time for myself to, to help think and get focused and channel good love and energy to the universe. I mean, I wake up every morning and I, and I, I open one eye and I go, is this really happening? I know. <laughs> do you guys do that? I mean, it's just like, yes. totally. Yeah. Oh my God, it's but crazy. it's such a great opportunity also to, like you said, Leland, to be introspective and to discover these new facets of yourself that maybe you didn't have the time to, right. to discover before. For me, I think one of the main differences is how close I hold family. I, th I thought I had right. gratitude for them before, but now I feel so in the present moment every moment that I spend with them and and just a gratitude for being close because there was a time uh, with the chaos of everything that I wasn't able to see them, you know? Yeah. So that's definitely been a shift for me. You were on the road for half of the year last year with uh, opening for Michael, you know, Michael, Michael Franti. Michael Franti. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And a lot of other great stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really interesting, the, the thing about where we're not moving, but I wonder yeah. about, um, you know, like, an organization like the UN, which is literally all over the world, and how that has shifted, you know, it's 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 pretty, uh, uh, it's just a, such a strange time, you know, I think. Um, have you written more or less, Kev, would you say? Have you done more or less? Do you feel busy? Like, I feel like I, the time is just really strangely busy for me. I'm, I'm <laughs> I shouldn't be busy. that busy. I, I'm very busy and I'm very lazy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, I'm very combined. <laughs> getting something done 
and uh, and also stepping back and just being. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. because, I mean, I find that like when I'm traveling a lot, I only have a limited time for creativity, and now I have this whole just. It's going to be a really crazy touring world when this thing is over. All the musicians are going to be like, ah, I'm going on the road. <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe, you know, I have a lot of musician friends that are like, wait, being at home ain't that bad. And they're like, they're trying to reprogram their life so they never have to get on a bus again because <laughs> they like being with their kids. Well, that's true. There's, there's that. There's that. So, uh, you know, I know that you're also a musician, uh, Leland, you, you're, you just seem to have every category ticked, but um, do you find now that you're not, well, you're probably twice as busy doing all the stuff on Zoom that you're doing. Yeah, but I don't have to get on an airplane. I can, I have so much more time at home. And, uh, you know, I have this little studio downtown where I have this backdrop, but it's only a 20 minute drive versus, you know, going across country or around the world. And, and yeah. I think, um, you know, it's, it's been really good for me to just be very intentional about the practice and intentional about sitting down and trying to pluck something out that's uh, trying to make it beautiful. So yeah. Well, I want uh, I'm gonna uh, r wrap up our little chat. I'm I'm just um, interested in knowing uh, from Kev and Victoria. But you, you're each gonna do a song in this little part that's coming up next. So um, tell me about the song, Kev, that you're doing. Do you remember which one you, you sent me? Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm, I remember what it is now. Tell me about that song. A song called Change. And uh, it's really from the perspective of a, um, I guess maybe someone who is maybe just down in their luck. I, wouldn't, I don't like to use the term homeless, but they don't have a traditional house to live in. But you know, home is wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I don't like that. It's homeless. Too. So this is, a, this is a guy that's just out on the street and looking at the world through his eyes. Mm. Great. Yeah. Well, it's a really cool song. And Victoria, yours is a song I've already heard before. It's really cool called Drama. Tell us about that song. Yeah, I wrote the song um, when there was, there was a moment when my inner bully was being really loud and mm -hmm. uh, letting and sort of shrinking me and making me feel small. And I think that happens to a lot of us. And I wanted to write a song about um, basically making peace with that inner voice and showing up as your highest self, no matter what, what room you're in. Um, and, and knowing that you deserve to be heard. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that was the inspiration behind that one. Awesome. Nice. Well, thank you guys so much for being part of this fun little thing. And uh, and uh, get ready because we're going to roll out this little uh, thing I put together. We have uh, so many amazing speakers and, and their names will come up. So I won't I won't tell you um, people just sending messages of peace and artists um, like yourselves and Mary Gaucher and Melanie. Remember Melanie, who is she actually was at Woodstock and we're also celebrating the anniversary of Woodstock now. Wow. Um, she's amazing. And uh, it's going to wrap up with um, uh, an amazing band called New Deco Ensemble. They're actually an orchestra and, and Ben Folds is going to be coming in there and other fun stuff. So, uh, and also at the very end, you're going to hear Dr. Kaka Shangala, Shangalia, Shangalia. He's the president of the International Association of University Presidents and he's going to have a, a, a great message at the end. So. I want to send you guys my love. Thank you so much. And I'm Thank going you. to do this technical <laughs> thing that is so interesting. Okay, watch out. Great connecting with you three. All right. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's see. How do I do this? <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Olivia Newton-John, and I wanted to congratulate you at the UN 
I have had such a wonderful experience at the UN in my life because I was lucky enough to be the Goodwill Ambassador for the Environmental Program for many years. And it was such a privilege to be a part of the United Nations for such a short time and see the wonderful work that they do and the wonderful peace that they help keep around the world. So congratulations. Here's to 75 more. Here's to 7,500 more years of peace. Thank you so much. Bye. The stars are out tonight, and I've got nowhere to go. But my nowhere, somewhere, you really don't want to know. And in the morning, I'll be at the stoplight, looking kind of strange, asking for forgiveness, begging for some change, begging for some change that'll turn my life around. Change that'll put my feet on the ground Change that'll make everything all right Everything all right mm. I don't like standing here With a bucket and a sign And I haven't seen my family In a very long time And I don't mean to make you feel guilty Top of all of your stress and strain But like me, you're praying to the Lord above Begging for some change Oh, you're begging for some change That'll turn your life around Change that'll put your feet on the ground Change that'll make everything all right I'm talking about a change For the good of everyone Change for the love of everyone Change That'll make everything okay now Don't act like you don't see me Brother, I know you do How about a little donation? I want to help you too for a change It might turn your life around Change that'll put your feet on the ground Change that'll make everything alright Everything okay mm. do, 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 do. Well, I've got no room for a sofa And I've got no TV But I've got this little radio A kind stranger gave to me And I've heard about the bloody school and the questions of who's to blame And I hear the children crying Crying for some change Oh, they're begging for some change It'll turn their lives around Change that'll put their feet on the ground Change that'll make everything all right I'm talking about a change For the good of everyone Change for the love of everyone Change That'll make everything all right, everything all right. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hey everyone, it's Victoria Canal here. Thank you so much for having me sing a song for the UN International Day of Peace. This is my song called Drama, and it's about showing up as your highest self, no matter what room you're in. Are you magical, spiritual, only show up as my highest self? 
Yeah, you're more than just beautiful and I don't need nobody else In the world that you live in, yeah, maybe I don't fit in Now your magical spirit, you'll only show up as my highest self Stevens. I'm the founder and president of Thistle Farms in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm happy to add my voice to the countless voices celebrating this beautiful anniversary of peace for the UN. To me, what peace means is it's equality in the midst of our collective struggle for justice in this world. I have been working with women survivors for more than 25 years with housing, with economic opportunities with community resources to say even in the midst of injustice even after trauma we can find this gift called peace together happy anniversary <laughs> Work is almost over. 
Won't be long, he won't be around I love my father He could use some mercy Sure could use a little mercy now He's a stranger to freedom Shackled to his fear and doubt The pain that he lives in It's almost more than I love my brother He could use some mercy now My church and my country They could use a little mercy now As they sink into a pause it's gonna take forever to climb in. They carry the weight of the faithful who follow them down. I love my church and country. They could use some mercy now Every living thing could use a little mercy now Only the hand of grace can end the race Towards another there's people in power who'll do anything to keep their crown. I love life, life itself could use some mercy now. Y'all could use a little mercy now I know we don't deserve it But we need it anyhow We hang in the balance We dangle between hell and how low Every single one of us could use some mercy now. <laughs>
On this anniversary of the International Day of Peace, I just wanted to both send some love and also say that even though peace may not look or feel how we had hoped or expected or wanted, that it does not mean we cannot keep working towards it with each other. Ubuntu reminds us that we are all interconnected and that every bit counts. And in that spirit and also with the words of my grandfather, I want to leave you with do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. Happy International Day of Peace. Take no prisoner, leave no trace, make no waves. Freedom's illusion, home of the rich and the slave. Cynics and critics making the news, creating the scene. Destiny lies in the fools who refuse to give up on a dream. Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, who also received the Nobel Peace Prize, often spoke of a world in which people lived free of want and free of fear. Those words carry particular weight in today's COVID world. And on this 75th anniversary of the UN Day of Peace, we should think long and hard about what kind of world we want to live in after the pandemic. What kind of peace do we want to see? Peace is not simply the absence of armed conflict. Peace is a world in which we are all treated with justice and equality. It is, as Kofi Annan said, a world in which people live free of want and free of fear. If we work together, we can bring about that world. My name is Jody Williams. Chairwoman of the Nobel Women's Initiative. Thank you. Oh, come in the morning, man. All right, let's do this one. You ready? One, two, three, three.
doesn't make much sense They sing it like a pop song You're capable of anything And I'm sure they meant You could be president Or you could just forgive me Carried in the Caucasus, Georgia has had a long and bitter experience with conflict and its poisoned fruits. With law, discrimination leads to conflict and hatred between people. With these lessons, I have shared the International Association of University Presidents with its own legacy of aiding peace, promoting understanding, and helping academics caught in conflict zones around the world. It is better to strive for humble peace than glorious victory, for it is only in peace where true education and understanding may flourish. Thus, let us come together in these trying times where fear, disease and division are testing our spirit to strive together for understanding and the common good. It is only through truth, compassion and understanding that we can shape peace around the world eradicated discrimination and fear monitoring. When we turn on our neighbors in fear, we aid both physical danger and the spread of hate through our hearts. Thus, along with my colleagues, our university presidents, I celebrate and support the International Day of Peace. IAUP as a proud member of the UN family, ready to continue making its share in shaping peace around the globe. 
Do not let fear drive you. For us it said the world is now too small for anything but brotherhood. Thank you very much. Thank you to all those amazing artists for those beautiful, beautiful pieces of music and uh, my friend Olivia Newton-John and Becca Stevens and the beautiful granddaughter of Archbishop Desmond Tutu Mungi. Um, all of you, uh, Jody Williams, uh, for your beautiful words as well as Dr. Shangalia um, and the New Deco Ensemble with Ben Folds. I mean, whoa! <laughs> it's been so much fun putting this all together and I want to say um, thank you to the UN uh, from all of us other humans because, wow, the work you do, 75 years worth, uh, you, got, you got a lot of amazing accomplishments behind you and hopefully ahead of us. Um, anyway, I want to say a special thank you to Ramu uh, Damodarian, who is the chief of the United Nations Academic Impact. And I want to th say thanks to the United Nations Department of Global Communications, in particular, the wonderful academic impact team. Uh, gratitude to the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres for his inspirational leadership at this very difficult time. So I want to end with this song that I wrote a few years back, and it feels very timely to me now, um, after we all get through this crazy life. It's just really one thing that matters. It's song called How We Love. Life has taught me this Every day is new And if anything is true All that matters when we're through is how we love Faced with what we lack Some dreams fall apart But from the ashes new dreams start All that matters to the heart is how In spite of our mistakes, chances come again. If we lose or if we win, all that matters in the end is how.
all that matters when we're gone. All that mattered all along. All we have that carries on is how. Thank you so much for joining us. Be safe out there. Let's have some more peace in this world. <laughs>